Hello friends, welcome back to CAD Practice. Today we are going to construct a 3D CAD model of gear shaft in Autodesk Inter software. So let's get started. Go to new, take a standard part in millimeter and go to create. Now take here 2D sketch, select the XY plane, take the line command. From the center point, we are going to start. Make one line like this, one here straight we are making the base profile first okay on here here and this will be the final go to dimension define this as 13 define this at 32 and here define this total as 92 okay now here define this is 7.5 this will be here 11.5 and this will be also 7.5 you can see and scale now finish sketch take revolve so profile is selected now select this as middle axis so this will revolve like this press ok now here we are going to make the gear profile so go to plane, go to offset from plane, select this face, take minus 50 mm and press OK. OK. Now select this plane and here click on create sketch. Take circle command. From this center point, make circle of dia 31. From same center, make another dia of 36. From same center, make dia 51. Scale. Okay. So this will be okay. Will this is not 51? This is 41. Okay. Now go to arc command. Take three point arc. Here, make the arc. Okay. Go to dimension. Select this arc. Give the radius here. Of 4.5 mm. Okay. And here go to arc command once again. Take three point arc. Select this point and select here this point. And make one arc. Go to tangent. Select this. Select this. Okay. Now here go to coincident. Select this point and select this circle. So this is coincident. Okay. Now here go to dimension. Go to line command first. Make a center line. We are going to make a vertical center line. Escape. Select this line. Make it construction. Go to dimension. Select this point. Select here. Define this dimension as 0 0.8. Okay. Now here escape go to dimension define this radius here as 7.34 okay and escape now here we have a movement okay so to constrain this go to dimension we we'll select this endpoint select the here define this as 2 okay and escape so this is fully constrained now. Now select this circle, make it construction. Select this circle, make it construction. Okay. So only that 31 will be remain in solid. Now go to mirror, select this profile, select this profile. Go to mirror line, select this center line, apply and done. Okay. Now go to arc command, take center point arc. Select here the center point, the green point. Select this and select this point. Now escape. Okay. Now go to trim. Trim this profile, trim this profile. So this will become a single profile. Finish sketch. Take extrude. Flip the direction. And take extrude of 15 mm. And press OK. Okay. Now go to chamfer, 
take a chamfer distance of 1 mm. So this will be 1 into 45 degree. Select this corner and select this corner. Press OK. OK. Now here go to circular pattern. Select extrude 1, chamfer 1. Go to rotation axis. Select this face. Here we are going to take count of 18 and press OK. OK. Now here select this and take here fillet. So this will be a fillet of 2 mm and this will be also 2 mm. Click here, click to add and take a fillet radius of 0 0.5. Select this edge, rotate and here select this edge. Press OK. OK. Now go to part 1. Now we have this cut profile. OK. Now go to the making part. Select this face, go to create sketch. Here, go to line command and select this inside circle and make a joining line here. Escape. Now select this yellow profile, make it construction, go to dimension, select this line from center line, this will be at 6mm. Okay. Go to the vertical constraint, select this green center point and select this center point. So this will be aligned. Now go to arc, take center points arc, select this center point, select this point and here select this point. Finish sketch, take here extrude, flip the direction. So this will be a cut of 22 mm and press OK. Now here go to circular pattern, select this profile, rotation axis, select this axis. Take here count of 4 and press OK. OK. Now here go to chamfer. Take a chamfer of 1 mm. Select this corner, select this corner, select this corner and here select this corner. Flip the direction. Press OK. Rotate the view. Now here we are only left with the counter boards, counter sink. Select this, go to create sketch, go to point command and here we are going to make a center point, finish sketch and here go to hole command, we are going to take here the counter sink and go to distance, take a distance of 6 mm, the top dia of counter sink will be of 5 and the bottom dia will remain 6. Press OK. Rotate the view. Select this face. Go to create sketch. Go to point command. Place one point here. Finish sketch. Go to hole command. And here same dimensions will take. Click here distance. So this will be top dia 5. Bottom dia 3 distance 6 mm and press ok ok rotate the view and here we will take the appearance as galvanized ok so click here so this will be the final out this was a basic tutorial to how to construct a gear shaft in autodesk Nintendo software i hope you like the video if you do that please do it like and subscribe the channel for more such videos thank you